Hey guys, uh, it's Heidi here with Ording Campus Life, and I'm so excited to see you guys today. So glad uh, that I am able to get to do this with you. Um, go ahead and sign in if you can, and by that I mean um, you can just type your name into um, the comments. For right now, I can't see them, but I have never um, done this before other than just a practice. So I'm sure they'll pop up in here somehow. Anyway, um, I just want to know who's here today, how you're doing, uh, what's going on with you, and I'm uh, just excited to see who you guys are. So if I haven't met you again, Heidi, I run Campus Life at the middle school in Ording. If you are one of my Campus Life kids, I can't see your face, but I miss you guys a ton and um, just can't wait to get back together with you guys. So anyways, uh, we like to have a lot of fun here at Campus Life, so stay tuned. You'll see what we have planned for today. So, um, first of all, we are going to play a game called What the Heck Is It Anyway? Okay, here's how this works. I have little items that I am going to um, pop up on the screen or bring across the screen really fast, and you are going to guess what it is, okay? So you're gonna type in to the comments as quickly as you can what you think it is. And um, the first person to get six right, we're gonna give you three minutes for the game. The first person to get six right is going to win. And your prize for today, uh, if you're first place, you get a $10 gift card. So you can choose where you want that gift card from. Um, maybe you want Amazon, Xbox, whatever that looks like. Um, and um, so you get to choose. I will show you my email later. So you can um, just email me. That way I'll have your email and I'll know where to send it to. Okay. And second place winner is going to get a $5 gift card. All right. So let me just give you an example of what this will look like. Ready? It might be something like this. Okay. If we were playing right now, you would be typing into your comments what you think that was. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get started here in just a second. Get ready, here comes the first item. You are going to guess, what the heck is it? All right, here we go. This is gonna be so hard and stressful. Hi, she says, hey guys. All right, super hard, I know. What the heck was that anyway? I don't know, hmm. Uh, just a sec, it says the live chat is off, so let me see if I can fix it real quick but I'm not sure how to do that. So give me just a second. I don't really know what I'm doing. See if I can figure this out here. That's my husband. He's, what the heck was that anyways? I think that was my husband. Um, dang, I don't know how to do live chat. Uh, let's see. That's not it. Sorry, thanks for being patient with me, guys. Hold on. I don't know. Just a second. Um, nope, I don't know. Um, hopefully you can figure it out. My friend Ken is trying to figure it out right now um, so we can figure out how to make it work so I can see your comments and so he can see your comments. So keep trying. If you have my telephone number and you can't access it either, go ahead and just send me a message so I know if it's more than just my friend. All right. So. If you guessed cat on that one, you are right. All right, here comes our second item. We're gonna say, guess what the heck is it? Here we go, ready? This is gonna be another stressful one. What the heck is that? I don't even know. Maybe it's a pickle, maybe it's a llama. I'm not sure. It's really hard. It's making me a little stressed out because I can't figure out what that weird thing was right there. Um, and I still can't figure out how to see your comments. No idea. I'm um, sorry, but anyways, type into your comments if you can ha see those or if yours are not locked um, so we can see who got that item correct. So the first two were easy. It's gonna get more challenging. All right, so that was a dog in case you were seriously confused as to what that was. Here is the next one. It's gonna go quick, ready? What is that? I don't even know. Maybe you would use that to get ready for school in the morning. Not really. Maybe you would use that and you would load it in the dishwasher. I don't know. Um, hmm, so confused. You got five more seconds to type in what you think that might be. All right. 
All right, I'm getting a message from Brandon. He said, dog, he texted me. You were right, Brandon. If you have my number, if you're a part of my group thread that I sent out to invite you to this, feel free to send your message back there as well. If you can't get it to me, all right, next one, get ready. This one is super soft. You might want to sleep on it at night. Ah! Never throw it at a teacher. All right, so you're going to think about what was that? Ooh, I got one from Cami saying it was a lantern. She's right. Nice. I'm getting texts on my phone. So, so far, Brandon's got dog right. Ooh, I got lamp from, who was that one from? Yep, Brandon's on a roll right now. He, oh, I got pine cone from Kirsten, or Kristen. I said your name wrong. Sorry about that. Oh, okay, so supposedly live chat is turned off, guys, because I have it set for kids, so I will fix that for next week. Go ahead and keep texting me. Send as many as you can, as fast as you can. So nice job. Next one. This is something you want to eat for dessert. I don't know. I don't know. What is it? No idea what that one is. You got five seconds. I'm going to try to see if I can adjust this. I don't know if I can. Sorry, technical difficulties for the old lady. Ooh, Kristen thinks it's an egg. Close, but no cigar. What else? What else? Anybody? You got five more seconds. Ooh, I got pine. Oh, no pine cone was before. All right. Okay, here we go. Next one. And if you're telling me on my phone that you can't figure out how to respond, it's because I said it to kids. So I will adjust that for next week. Um, so really sorry about that, guys. All right. I don't want to leave you. Okay, here goes the next one. All right, ready? Flash. I have no idea what that was. I didn't even see it. Yes, I'm saying weird things. So if I say like an egg for dessert, which, by the way, it wasn't an egg. It was a tomato. Um, then I'm trying to trick you. So don't be fooled by my sneakiness, okay? Ooh, I just got apple. Close, not apple. The red was a tomato. Who wants that business for dessert? Please don't sleep on this. It was a pine cone. Okay, you sleep on that, you're gonna have some problems. This is a fancy handy dandy lantern. And what just zoomed by really quick, ooh, Cammy got it, she said tomato. What zoomed by really quick was bread. The last lonely piece of bread that nobody in my family wants to eat. All right, here goes the next thing. Ready? I'm so sneaky, right? Oh, it's hopping across the screen. I don't even know. That is the next thing. It's very tricky. Shrek knows. I know. I know. Pick me. Ah! He gets a little excited. He's kind of weird. I'm so sorry. Trying to get him to calm down. Way too much coffee. Ooh. Kristen's on a roll also. We got a pen. I got question marks from Araya. She has no clue what it is, and that's okay if you don't know. Don't worry about it. If you got here late, we're guessing what things are. Guys, if you are texting me, then I will check later. So when I give you my email, I'll send it out to you to let you know you won. And also, I will um, let you know for sure next week, too. So don't worry if you can't message. Ooh, chips. I don't know about chips. It's a pen. Nice. So Cammie's got a whole list going. She's like dog, lantern, pine cone, tomato, chips. So she's got her list. So if you want to go ahead and text me separately, feel free. And you can just be putting those things in there. All right. This is only one. There's usually two. That's my only clue. Here we go. I'll do it this way. All right. I'm going to give you a hint. So I got you got five seconds and then I'm giving you a big fat hint. Text me what you think that was. Who's going to get it? There's a lot of you out there. I don't know. So far, Tim thinks an egg is still dessert. Three. Oh, awesome. Brandon said pens or pencils. He said bread. He got it right, too. If I don't say your name, don't worry. All right, look, check this out. Maybe this will give you a hint. I'll give it to the first person that responds. Oh, Tim got it. Way to go, Tim. See how lovely Shrek looks? Actually, kind of a little odd. Maybe he would wear it right here as a nose ring. I feel like Shrek would wear it as a nose ring. What do you guys think? It's like a metal booger for Shrek. All right. So <laughs> somebody just said, please stop. No. <laughs> oh, sorry. That's Jeanette. Um, sorry, Jeanette. You're part of a group thread on YouTube. Oh, she can't hear me. All right. Anyway, I'll message her later. Okay. Here's another one. Ready? Here it comes. We're almost done. What is it? Oh, that should be easy. I'm only going to give you 10 seconds to text me and tell me what this lovely, dirty thing is. Ooh, Kristen, she said shoe. Nice. 
She's fast. You guys are all fast. You're fast texters. Um, we are playing a game on YouTube for Campus Life. So we're all texting back responses. All right. So one, two more items. We got two more items. Hey, guys. Text back separately so that you're not driving everyone crazy on the group thread. All right, here we go. This is something that you use, but usually should only use with permission. Old school, might not see this anymore. What is it? Anybody? Anybody? Let's see. Ooh, yep, matches is correct. And here is the last thing you can choose. Either one, whichever one you recognize faster. Here we go. Oh, uh, look, I got tricky. I swapped him. All right, so let's see what you say that is. Remember, if you were on that massive group thread, please text me separately. If you don't have my number, it's 253-686-9361. All right, ooh, Kristen got it also. You guys are fast. So that was a Bible and that was an Xbox controller. All right. So nice job. We're going to go ahead and wrap that up. So I will check here. Ooh, Vans. You even said the brand. I'm so impressed right now. Bible show. I'm not sure what the show is. Um, all right, you guys, they, they're still coming in. So great. I will check those uh, when we're all done. So one of my um, bosses is on here too. And he says no kids are going to beat him. So he's getting a little bit, a little bit scary over here with the text messages. All right, you guys. So um, I will see who wins again. First prize, $10 gift card. You can let me know um, who or what it is that you want. And second prize is a $5 gift card. And you can let me know that as well. I'm going to show you my email now and then I'll show it to you again later. Okay. So it is Heidi Mashoff. So Heidi.mashoff at TacomaYFC.org. I know that's a lot of letters. It's a lot of words. It's a pain in the butt. I live with it every day. That's my last name. All right. So if you want to write that down or take a screenshot of it, maybe snap a photo with your phone. Cool. And I will show that to you again here at the end. All right. So I have got a disgusting game for you. I must really like you people a lot to do this nasty business. This next game is called Will She Drink It? All right. So if you think I'm going to drink it now, just take a guess. Text me not on that group thread, but um, Send me a thumbs up if you think I'm going to drink whatever this is. Thumbs down if you think she's definitely not going to drink it. And I'm going to start to show you what those items are. All right, I got my glass all ready to go. I've got half and half. I've got jalapenos. I'm going to mix this nasty stuff into a glass and drink it. Okay, so what you can do is you can start to text me as you see these things, what you want me to add to my nasty drink, all right? This is my least favorite food in the world, mayonnaise. So if you really want me to drink something gross, there you go. I've got sweet red chili sauce. Everybody needs a little bit of whipped cream or some balsamic vinegar, vinaigrette dressing in their drink. So fancy. We had lentil soup the other day, so I can add some lentil soup to this drink. All right, I got some mustard, some key lime. All right, so go ahead and text me if you, if you can remember any of those. Okay, so I just got definitely the mayo and the whipped cream. All right, here we go. Whipped cream. Ta-da, this is for Ken. All right, and mayo, he wants to see me throw up. I promise to drink whatever goes in here, guys. Oh, uh, uh. I don't know why I took such a big scoop of that. That's disgusting. Anybody else wanna text and tell me what I should put in this? Don't forget the hot sauce, guys. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit of lime juice because nothing goes better with whipped cream and mayonnaise than some lime juice. Disgusting. Who came up with this terrible idea? Oh, it was me. Let's add a little half and half to this. What do you think, all you guys out there? 
What else should I add? So far, it's pretty white. Look at that. It needs some color. You think jalapenos might be a good thing for this? Wow, it smells so gross. All right, Cami, what do you think I should add to this? Brandon, Leland, Christy, Tim, Kirsten. Who else is on here? Um, let's see. Peyton, if you're still on here. Bella, Caitlin. What do you guys think I should add to this nasty drink? All right, here we go. I got some lentil soup. Oh, that's so gross. Can you see it pouring out of there? What? All right. Hot sauce. Kirsten says hot sauce. Here we go. This is for you, Kirsten. Gross. <laughs> Maybe I'll share this. I'll make it for you guys when we have real campus life again and you can all drink it. What about a jalapeno? Should I add a little bit of jalapeno? Maybe two? Ew, Tim at YFC said more mayonnaise. I don't think I like Tim anymore. What about some mustard? If I throw up on camera, sorry. All right, balsamic vinegar. Here we go. The vinaigrette. I'm making a little salad dressing, a little bit of gross. Ugh. Okay, sweet chili. All right, I got jalapeno, says Cammie. Cammie, I'll put more in for you. I only put in two, all right? Okay, let's see. Got two more jalapenos. I got sweet chili. So let's see. I'm not sure who this is from. Oh, I think this might be Kira, um, maybe, that just said sweet chili. So here we go. Sweet chili right here. Look at this deliciousness. I'm not drinking all of it. I will literally barf everywhere. Okay. Ooh, so gross. Let's see. Brandon says, add it all, then drink it. Brandon, what are you saying to me right now? Oh my gosh, this is disgusting. Ew, the jalapeno is breaking up into chunks. Blech. Okay, I think I got everything here. I've got all of it. Let me move this out of the way so you can witness all this amazingness right here. Okay, here goes. <sighs> okay. All right, I might die. This might be the last time you ever see me. First and last club because I died. Here goes. Okay, you're going to think I'm a weirdo? Ah! But it's actually kind of good. It tastes like a Herpes fry sauce, actually. Woo, that's spicy. Woo! I'm going to get some water. I'll be right back. Oh. Okay, I feel like I'm lucky. That could have been way more disgusting. So to all of you out there that added an ingredient to my gross drink, thank you. All right. Again, sorry I couldn't have the commenting for you guys, but I really appreciate you figuring out to just text me. That's awesome. All right, so... Very important, breaking news, breaking news. Just one second, breaking news. Hello, my name is Bob and I am the newscaster here. I have some important news to share with you. I have to hold my mustache, I hurt myself. And if I do not hold it, it falls off my face. It's terrible. Breaking news, very important. You must listen very closely. One, it's been raining. Two, it's been raining a lot. Three, so much rain, a little, little bit of sun. And last, don't go to school, it's closed. Nobody will be there. Nobody. Do not go to the school. That is all. Oh my gosh, that was the weirdest thing ever. I just got attacked by some weird guy that had like funky hair over his forehead. And he literally like just ran down the hallway with this little like mustache falling off his face saying his name was newscaster Bob. I don't even know what's going on right now, but maybe we'll see him again sometime. That didn't seem like the world's most important news, but 
I don't know. Oh, I just burped up jalapenos. Whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm going to give you my email again right now. So that way you can email me and I can let you know um, what we have coming up. I can let you know also who won. And remember, I will figure it out and I will let you know for sure who won. Um, once I look at all the text messages, so there is that. All right. Okay, so um, I just want to chat with you guys for a second. Usually at Campus Life, we have a time to just kind of discuss some things that really relate to what you guys are going through as teenagers and as middle schoolers. Um, and we also just take some time to connect that to God's word and kind of see what he has for us. So I have a few questions I want you to think about today. If you want to text me, feel free. Um, it's more private that way. Usually I'll have the text stream and you can uh, text or you can respond through there if you'd like, or else I would invite you just to think about these questions. Okay. So I want you to think, um, do you feel like many middle school students, like your friends, maybe yourself, um, other people that you know, do you think that uh, they love who they are? Okay. So think about, do they love themselves? Why or why not? Um, does the way others maybe make you feel in particular um, make you feel unloved at times? So the way others view you, I meant to say, um, make you feel unloved. OK, so think about that. Like if somebody sees you as a nerd or annoying or like a know it all or a snob or whatever that is, does that make you feel unloved? I just got a message from Brandon that said, drink it all. Uh, Brandon, I promise I will drink more at the end of club. OK, OK. Um, Maybe I'll find your house and bring you some fry sauce in a glass. Okay. All right. So um, anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, I also am wondering if maybe you as a middle schooler have a hard time valuing yourself. So that means finding your own worth in who God uniquely made us. Um, I know for me, I was new in ninth grade and I was one of two new students that year and I was junior high. So it was seven, eight, nine. And I was awkward. I just got my braces off. Um, I grew five inches that year. So I was super awkward in my own body. I was really um, tall and gangly and just, you know, long arms, long legs. And it just felt like nothing on me went together. Uh, it was not only was I new, I was also, um, sorry, I'm trying to scare away my cat who's meowing. I don't think it worked. Uh, if you hear her meowing, she just wishes she was on YouTube as well, but she's not. She doesn't have her own account or channel, which is super weird. I don't know why. But anyways, it was just such an uncomfortable time for me. I definitely didn't feel, um, I didn't find a lot of good in myself at the time. I just felt like such a, I guess, weirdo is the right term um, and just uncomfortable, really uncomfortable. Um, so when we learn to be secure in who God's made us to be, uh, we can do really great things and he can do great things through us as well. So over the next few weeks, we're just going to talk kind of briefly about a man named David. So if you know about the Bible, you might be familiar with the story. If not, I'll just tell, I'll share a little bit with you. Um, he ended up living an amazing life. Okay. But there was this guy named Samuel and his job was to go out and find um, who the next king for this place called Israel was supposed to be. Okay. And so he was told to go to this man, Jesse. Jesse had a ton of sons. They were strong. They were good looking. They were funny. They were hard workers, like all of the brothers. Right. And so he went and he didn't know which one he was supposed to choose. So God said that he would help Samuel figure it out once he got there, once he saw each of the sons. So of course, Samuel looks at the oldest son and he's thinking, wow, he's like, so strong and 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 good looking like i said good looking all those things that people look at and um but in first samuel which is a book of the bible it says that god does not look on the things that people look at so he doesn't look at you and think oh she's hot yeah she's super cute so she must be a good one and that one's kind of awkward so eh, i'm not going to use that one he doesn't think that way at all he looks at our um our heart OK, so he's looking at our inward appearance, not our outward appearance. And that's what Samuel was doing. He was going based off of, well, this guy looks like he has it all together. And that's not what God was looking for. So he met each of Jesse's sons. But God kept saying, not that one, not that one, not that one. So Samuel was so confused. Um, and so he went to Jesse because God said no to every single son that was in the house. And he's like, I don't know what to do now. And um. Just a sec. Hey, kitty, shoo, shoo. Um, anyway, 
he asked Jesse, do you have any more sons? Because God told me one of these would be um, the next king. And so they had to call David in from the field, or they called him the littlest brother, okay? And um, he hadn't met him yet. And the youngest brother was this David that we talked about. So David was stinky, young. He was a, a young teenager, so probably about your age. And um, God chose him to be the next king of Israel. So he didn't become king right that second. But that was definitely um, something that he had in store for him. So God, uh, think about this for just a second. Samuel chose this guy. To, he chose to go to this guy's house. Um, and David wasn't in the room. He was left out in the field with his sheep. Okay, he's alone. He was not even worth considering for the job. That's what his dad thought. That's why he didn't have him in the house. He was underestimated by everybody. Okay, they didn't think he was brave enough to fight in battle. They didn't think that he was good enough or strong enough to be the next king. Um, but again, God looks at the heart. So here's where the story gets a little bit crazy. And I'm almost done, so stick with me. Okay. Um, so David and Goliath. I don't know if you've heard of them, but um, there were two armies camped on opposite sides of a huge, huge valley. Okay. And they were facing each other, getting ready for battle. Okay. One was the Israelites and one was the Philistine army. The Philistine army had a massive giant nine feet tall. Okay. So my house has eight foot tall ceilings. I'm five foot eight, okay? So even if I was all the way, I'd make fun of them. He would call them names. He would tell them they're weak and, um, you know, just call out their men because he wanted to fight them. And anyone that went out to fight would get killed. Um, everyone was absolutely terrified, including the king. So one day David was sent by his dad. He's a little guy, right? And he goes with his dad to take food to his brothers who were all fighting the front lines. And... Um, he heard Goliath shouting these daily insults and saying like, and how everybody was so fearful around him. And David responded, who is this guy that defies the armies of God? Because God had blessed the Israelites. And so he's like, who the heck is this guy? So he volunteered to fight Goliath. And the king was like, uh, no, you're just a little guy. So then the king finally agreed. He gave him all his armor. It was so heavy that David fell over when he walked in it. And David said, all I need is one rock or I need rocks and a slingshot. Okay. So he went out there and basically he said to this huge ginormous um, giant, he said to him, cause the giant was like, who is this that you throw out this little teenager, this little kid out here to fight me? What do you think I am? And so um, anyways, he said to them, you come at me with a sword and a spear and a javelin. So the guy's got a lot of stuff going on but I come against you in the name of the almighty God. So this, again, a teenager who nobody expected anything of. Nobody thought he could handle anything. Oh, it just went black, babe. It just shut down. Should I try to refresh it? Map popped up, it shut it down. Oh, okay. Can you still hear me, question mark? Sorry, guys, if you can still hear me, I have no idea. Oh, okay, I'll just keep going. My screen is black, so I'll just pretend I can see no one, not even myself now. But basically, um, this is the same guy that everybody said wasn't worth any value. And he literally knew that where his worth came from, that it wasn't his looks. It wasn't what people thought about him. So here's the crazy thing. He takes that stone. So he prays, right? He, as Goliath moves in to kill David, he's coming at him with all these weapons, with this full armor, you know, just yelling, whatever. David reaches into his little bag of these stones that he got from a stream, Right. And he puts it into his slingshot and he swings it around his head and he lets it fly. And the stone hits um, Goliath. It just goes right into his forehead and it literally kills him. Okay, so he fell down to the ground. So then David, this is kind of gross. This is like one of those, you know, really intense movies. But he takes Goliath's sword and then he cuts off his head. All right, so this is something they did back then. And when the Philistines saw that their hero was dead and his head was cut off, they literally 
turned and ran. So then the Israelites took after him. They killed them. Um, so it's a crazy, crazy story. David had a good heart and believed in who God created him to be. All right. Um, so he used him in great ways, even though others saw him as weak. So David knew that God saw his heart and what it really was. Um, since he knew this and believed this, God used him in really great ways. And so um, sometimes it can be really hard to love the way God made us. I still struggle with that sometimes as an adult, um, especially when other people doubt us too. Okay. If you've ever felt that way, I want you to know that God has given you special gifts um, that you you need to be able to love yourself for who God has made you to be. And when you can learn to love yourself this way, you're gonna God's gonna use you to do amazing things too. So I'm just gonna pray real quick. If you don't pray, no big deal. It's just me talking to God, but I want to pray for you guys. So I close my eyes or else I get super distracted because I have ADD. Okay. Um, God, thank you so much for this time that I get to hang out with these kids. Thank you that they hung with me, even though things weren't going right. And I just am so lucky to get to spend this time. I pray you'll bring them back next week and that you'll just help them to start understanding that you made each one of them uniquely and special and that you have a plan and that they'll just be able to trust that they're exactly who they should be. All right. So amen. Okay, guys. So one more time, I did see one of you um, gave me, sent me your email over text. So here's this one more time. All right. So um, come back next Friday at 1230. We'll be doing club again. You will be able to comment. And also if you come on Tuesday at 1230, I'm going to have a special challenge. There'll be a video there for you. Um, it might be live. It might not be, but it'll be a special challenge for you to do some kind of like maybe an indoor scavenger hunt, or maybe I don't want to give away anymore, but come back Tuesday at 1230. It's just fun and games, or I'll see you next Friday as well. Feel free to text me anytime you guys. And thank you so much for coming and look for um, email me and then I will let you know or I will send a text here in just a minute. All right, you guys. I know you can't see me. I can't see me. Wait, you can see me. I can't see me. Whatever. So good to see you guys. Oh, Brandon, I promised you I'd drink some more of that nasty. All right, Brandon, this is for you, buddy. Here goes. I don't really like the fry sauce at Herfie, so it's not my favorite. Oh, I just got lentils. Gross. Okay. Talk to you guys soon. Bye. It won't let me end it either. If you guys can still see me, it won't let me end it. <laughs> so you might just get to watch my house. Do you know why? Won't let me end. We're still here. If you're still watching, I don't know how to shut it down. It won't let me. I live in Graham and things work weird. Maybe I'll start reading to you from my favorite storybook. Maybe I'll start eating the tomato. I said hi. hi <laughs> Dang it, we can't get out of here. I don't know what to do. Hmm. So weird these humans don't know what to do, I swear. Come back next week. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.